What you guys got another video? No Windows 11 updates are not killing your SSD. According to WCCF Tech, they contacted Fizon and Fizon have said they took it upon themselves to test whether these reports are real or fake. Now Fizon and Microsoft have stated that they cannot replicate this issue. So Fizon took it upon themselves and did over 4,500 hours of testing on their SSDs. They also done 2,200 test cycles and they could not replicate the same issues. And Microsoft have said exactly the same thing. They've done extensive testing, the same as Fizon, and they cannot find any issues. So what is it all about? Is it all just fake news or is it just a freak occurrence that's happened to one particular person, i.e. Jay's Two Cents? Now, I'm pretty sure that Jay's Two Cents and Theo Joe and a bunch of other big YouTubers haven't put the amount of hours in like Fizon have or Microsoft have in their testing. So they give an opinion on something or maybe like Jay's Two Cents did, found a completely different issue and up it popped. And of course, when you make a video on that sort of topic and you're a big YouTuber like Jay and uh, Theo, what happens is it causes mass hysteria. And of course, people then go to Reddit and other places on the internet and start posting. And then you've got other people creating content on the same issue. And it gets blown all out of proportion. And like I said in my video, that more testing needs to be done before you can actually point the finger at Fizon or at Microsoft themselves. So these NVMe drives, some of them don't even have a heatsink on them. And Fizon have recommended that you put some sort of thermal pad and heatsink on these because they can get rather hot when they're under full load. So if you're playing games or you're, uh, you know, doing some sort of video editing on that drive, it can get a bit toasty. So adding a thermal pad and a heatsink can help keep the drive and controller cooler. Now, of course, with drives getting super fast nowadays, uh, they can get very, very hot. And the latest Gen 5 ones can, you know, get super hot under full load. And I would say if you're using one of those particular drives, I would definitely put some form of heatsink and thermal pad on that particular drive to keep it as cool as possible. So I get lots of people asking the question, what do I do now? Because I'm completely confused. Should I leave the updates paused? I've uninstalled the update and I've now paused updates. Should I reinstall the update? Is it time to update it now? Well, the choice has to be yours at the end of the day. If you wanted some sort of peace of mind, you could uninstall the update and pause it for a few more weeks until the dust settles and find out how the land lies and then decide whether you want to update then. Or you can do what a lot of people have done and updated anyway and they've had no issues whatsoever. Like I said in my initial video, that the update that comes down onto your computer Microsoft have tested it thoroughly and so have Fizon and they have both said that they cannot replicate issues or find fault with it. Now, I'm pretty sure Microsoft would have pulled that update or paused it if there was a major problem with it. Now, I know Theo Joe uh, made a recent video giving his opinion on what he thinks is happening and having an opinion on something and saying what you think is going on or happening and the update could be to blame or whatever it may be that he said... Having opinions like that when you're a big YouTuber, you've got to be careful because you're influencing other people and this can cause massive problems. So you've got to be very careful in the way you word things. And I think Jay's Two Cents has done the same thing. He's basically made a video, got a ton of views on that video because he's a big channel. And of course, it's caused major problems. People are then going on Reddit and on the internet and starting to make posts about this and of course people are getting super confused and they don't know uh, what to do now like i said in my initial video i did say that extensive testing needs to be done before we can start saying that this is a widespread problem and what you need to understand with the internet is people make posts and people make videos and other types of content and of course this is all uh, part of entertainment and knowledge and information and of course some of this you have to take with a pinch of salt because some of these people haven't even done any extensive testing and in my initial first video I did actually make a video and say I haven't done any testing I was just reading some of the information on the internet 
but like I said, more testing needed to be done before we can say it was a widespread problem. And of course, I have done some testing uh, myself and I can't replicate the same issues. I've done some benchmarks, I've put it under heavy load, I've tried everything and it just won't do anything to that drive. I've even tried scrubbing the drive for many hours at a time and it still works perfectly fine. The drive has not failed and there's been no issues. So I haven't done like 4,500 hours of testing and I certainly haven't done as much testing as Fison or even Microsoft. But if it was a major issue with those drives and I did test on a drive that was known to be one of the drives that would fail, it didn't fail and I tried everything to get that to fail. So I think doing some form of testing yourself and then giving your opinion on the subject is better than blaming, say, Fison or Microsoft and saying that it's their fault without any form of testing yourself because then you are just accusing people and that's not a good thing. Because also, even myself being a smaller channel, it, you can actually cause a problem by saying certain things because people believe every word that you say, especially if you've got a loyal following they are going to believe you. So you have to be very careful in what you say when you're a content creator or when you're writing articles. So if you're one of these people that are still a little bit on the fence and you really still don't know whether it's a Windows update issue or a Fison issue, then I would advise you to uninstall the update altogether. Now, some people have said they can't uninstall it, but you might need to uninstall the way I've showed you in this video first, and that way it will eventually allow you to uh, uninstall that update altogether and then you can pause it for five weeks and then keep an eye out for it and you can even block that update from coming down altogether but I wouldn't advise to do that long term because at the end of the day you're going to need to update Windows to keep you safe and secure especially if it's a security update as well. Pausing updates for five weeks is not going to be a major concern or problem for you I would advise you, if you're one of those people that are a bit concerned and a bit worried, then pause it for about five weeks until we find out more information later on down the line. On my Windows 11 system, I do have the update paused for five weeks until uh, the dust settles a little bit and I can see whether there's any issues coming up later on down the line. The last thing I would want is my drive to fail and I have to go out and buy a new drive just in case because you can't always even take Microsoft's word for it or even Fison's word for it. You just have to make your own decisions in life. And that's what I've decided to do. And in time, I will resume those updates in a few weeks once I realize that there is no major concern. But the choice has to be yours at the end of the day. You choose what you want to do with your computer and your hardware, whether you want to play it safe or whether you just want to roll out the update let us know in the comment section down below whether you've rolled out this update and whether you've had any issues. Now, for the fanboys out there, I'm not bashing on Jay's Two Cents or calling him a liar or anything like that or Theo Joe or any of those people. I'm just giving you my opinion on what I see and what I read and what I watch online. After all, this is the internet and this is also YouTube and you know what happens on YouTube. So anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a lovely Sunday, and I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll catch you on the Discord server. Link's in the video description. Bye for now.